All right, let's hear for 140 Fire. Hi, I'm Jason. This is Scott. We're working on 140 Fire, and we're working on truly social and interactive video overlay ads for online video. Let's go straight to a demo. So here we have a piece of content from Mad Men. And up's going to pop one of our overlay ads from Grey Goose. So we poll the audience and ask them, um, if you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? So let's say uh, Tahiti. We'll ask another question. What's your idea of a fun night out? So we select uh, a movie. And then we say, who is your biggest hero? So there's some few celebrities up here. Let's pick uh, Jason Calcanis. So the drink we come up with uh, is the Black Orchid. And using Facebook instant personalization, we can show you which of your friends have liked Grey Goose, the brand, and that actual drink. So you can like this, you can share it, and it's a truly interactive ad by Grey Goose. We'll go to uh, another demo here where we have a concert. And we'll have another interactive overlay come up which says, which BMW are you? So gathering audience data. I'm going to go ahead and select uh, the Z4. And we'll show some cool stats uh, about the Z4. But what makes this really interesting is that we'll fast forward the video here to about, sorry, to about 35 seconds where the video is going to end. And we actually use that polling data for retargeting. So because I selected the Z4, now we're going to show you a Z4 post-roll video. So BMW gets deeper intelligence. They can serve ads based on what the user's already selected. And now they can increase, uh, an advertiser and brand can increase their, uh, increase their relativity, and a publisher can increase their CPMs. So we can do this, and this is the kind of metrics we can give back to the advertiser. So we can go in here and select, uh, let's see, male 13 to 17 in the video. And we can show in real time to the advertiser what that demographic was selecting and what their preference is. Zoom and we, we can also show uh, sharing data, et cetera, inside. So we can do all of this with our easy editor. And all the ads you've seen so far could be created simply with uh, a brand, a media agency, um, or the publisher themselves. And we can show the ad style unit, and you can publish the video to any ad network. So Yumi, Brightroll, uh, anyone. Now what's really interesting is that um, we have a real-time uh, CMS as well that can talk to the ad. So this is uh, an example of being able to interact with uh, content in real time. And what we'll do here is we'll show a... One more time. Sorry. One second. Still loading. Okay. This is where you have filler ready. Yeah. Talk about something virtuous about your product. Uh, sorry. Okay. So I mean, I guess I'll explain it until it starts working. So what we can do is uh, we're going to show here uh, a ESPN3 game where Duke is playing Butler, and somebody gets fouled. And what we can do is go in our real-time CMS, we can actually inject, uh, here we go, it's working now. So me, it's working on mine, there's a, I think our cable's got disconnected, let's just swap Keep over. Keep talking through it. Okay, let's just switch it over. It happens. Anyway, so what we can do is, uh, let's say somebody gets fouled in the game, what we can do in real time is actually pull the audience and insert a quick question that says, how many free throws will the person make? One, two, or three? And you can interact and grab points inside the video. So this is actually the first time an advertiser is able to capture uh, interacting with high points in a video. So as opposed to traditionally advertising you know, during bathroom breaks or boring points, we can actually now put the brand front and center with the most engaging points of video content. And that's, uh, 
that's the most important part of what we've been working on thus far. Sorry about this, folks. And if you see on the right side of the page, so what you can do by, um, by interacting with the content is you can grab points for playing. You can see what your friends are interested in. You have a social leaderboard there that you can compete with your friends. Another, uh, another example of uh, our integration with uh, Facebook. Showing up the other one? All yep. right. You got it now. Sorry about that, guys. Okay. Well, you just moved it. Put it back on the screen. Oh, sorry. Okay. There you go. Uh, Almost there. A little more to the left? Keep going. You can look at the courtesy monitor down here and see the same thing. The monitor down oh, here. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. There you go. Okay, perfect. Sorry about that, guys. No problem. Okay. 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 Okay, so uh, you can vote on the number of free throws he hits. Yeah, are we able to do it here? Okay. Yes, we will. I'm going to just turn at the live editor, right? So, I think we get it. Okay, so we'll bring up the live editor. We'll we'll show you now. All right, how many free throws will will Zubik make? One or two? Publish. And there you go. Now you see it goes right at the top of the content. We have a Facebook like button, and BMW gets front and center placement over the actual event. And you're so, placing those live during the game. Live over the game. Right. So exactly. you can create on the fly quizzes yeah. to engage people into the advertising. That's exactly. Something. And then once you know, he makes the first three throw. Once he makes the first three throw, we can go back in there and tell the audience if they're right or they're wrong. So as I said before, it's another way for uh, BMW to get front and center placement with high points in video. So now we can increase CPMs. Uh, for the publisher. Now BMW doesn't get to advertise during bathroom breaks, so it's another sort of defense for them against things like TiVo, uh, DVR. Awesome. And after you select, you get points, and you can do different things with that, such as um, you know, a discount, or sharing with your friends, or uh, you know, it could be lead gen for ESPN just to grab more users to sign up to redeem their points. And that is essentially what we're doing. So. You can reach us, uh, Jason, at 140fire.com. Let's hear it for 140fire for fighting through the technical issues. Awesome. Okay. What do you guys think? Real-time quizzes, et cetera, and advertising? Kevin, you're nodding your head. You like it. It looks really cool. I've never seen anything like that, and I'd love to experience that in, like, real-time games. And I think it's just a great way to engage the audience. Awesome. I'd love to be able to do that with some of our live podcast stuff that we do, you know, quiz sure. the audience, when things like that. you have like a that. live dignation to For do sure. audience polling with GoDaddy as a sponsor. Absolutely. You don't have to stop the show. Now, is this, is this a tool, or are you guys trying to actually build the network? Um, Scott? Well, that's a little bit of both. I mean, we built sort of this turnkey platform that lets advertisers come in the existing system and build the ads with a bunch of different ad styles. They can customize it. It's pretty easy to actually use. So, so, so who's your, is your customer the advertiser or the publisher? Or like, how do you get in into the, the, the ad stack? So there's three, uh, there's three ways to do it. We, actually, we can work publisher direct with their actual video player, um, or we can serve through, it actually works with uh, Freewheel and with uh, Yumi ad serving technology. Uh, or you know, another way we actually just sell it is we go through uh, our partners like OMD and BBDO and some of the other big agencies. And some of those deeper integrations, like uh, you said the live thing, would probably be more involved with the actual publisher. And you're taking a rev share on it, I assume? Uh, we charge differently, um, however way it goes. I mean, if it's an, if it's an agency, uh, we'll charge on a per CPM basis or do a rev share. If it's publisher direct um, with like the live streaming sort of stuff, that'd be like a, um, sort of like a big upfront payment. It's, it's sort of different around the board. Okay, but you're not actually going out and selling the advertising. Um, no, we are. I mean, we're, we're doing some publisher direct stuff with, with people like Metacafe and with ESPN, um, but we'll also work with, uh, with agencies like, that will go out and, and sell it themselves. So, so what about um, YouTube? Yeah, what if I have tens of millions of views on YouTube and I want to use something like this? Can I? Um, we technically can't do it inside the video player on YouTube. I mean, Not they, today, but we have been talking to... So. Yeah, we have been talking with them uh, quite a bit. So, you know, if they bought us, then yeah, we could do it. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> what about as um, if it was an overlay or something in a, in a YouTube wrapper on my site? Could I do it there? 
Um, I think we could, or we could put it below the video so it wouldn't actually work. It's totally in sync with the player, but you could pull people in real time um, and use the technology. Interesting. Okay. Oh, but, sure, sure. Um, um, do we have a microphone, Tyler? I think we, oh, there it is. Hold on. Burn this. Good recovery, guys, by the way. Yeah, thanks. Never panic. So uh, I, I thought that was, uh, you know, beyond the technical problems you, you, you went through it. And so kudos to you. Um, the product looks actually really cool. Um, so I, I want to dig into it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. um, I was actually watching ET a couple nights ago. I started, uh, you know, itemizing all the different products in the movie, like just for nostalgia's sake. Yeah. But um, I thought it would be really cool for streaming movies to have the products that are in the movie also uh, use your technology and you know do quizzes with your friends and everything in terms of you know uh, movies and other types of beyond you know ads and and, and this type of so totally. I think that would be really cool. I mean, we try and like our main focus is to increase engagement and not pe take people off the site. So um, if we could you know show products that are inside the video to let people interact with that, then that's totally something we can do. Um, since we're very focused on content specific type ads. Um, we can do basic things such as like the BMW ad could be over any sort of pre-recorded content. But like the Grey Goose ad, we did that because, you know, Mad Men, like people are drinking cocktails and smoking cigarettes. So we decided to do a Grey Goose ad since it's content specific and get people to figure out which of their friends are watching Mad Men and what they like, you know, what their drink choice was. We also have, uh, Hulu would be perfect for this. Hulu would be perfect, yeah. yeah. But you also, I mean, taking people out, I don't think I'd want to participate when I'm watching a movie. I don't necessarily want to look at products in a movie. I mean, I could see it in sports completely, playing games and participating that way, but I have a hard time in other areas. You know, maybe American Idol, things that are live. Perhaps there's more interest in engaging, but I don't know if I'd want to when I'm watching an episode of Mad Men or something. Yeah, like it's like the DVD alternate track with the director. It's only appealing to a certain segment of people, but... Well, some of the things... That, live, live events, I could live see Live events is a huge win, yeah. You know, what did you think of Jenny Lowe crying on American Idol? Paul. She cried on American Idol? Yes, hello. Yeah. <laughs> knock, knock. Wow. Anyway, yes. I gotta anyway, back to something team. like that. I could see it work. Sure. Okay, awesome. Well done, uh, 145. Okay, thanks. And good recovery. Awesome.